Drip, drip, drip. You've seen a dripping faucet like that, haven't you, Aaron? And sometimes people don't realize that it, that it can be quite wasteful of water. So you, today, you and I are going to figure out how much water it really wastes. Let's assume that it's dripping once a second. Okay. Okay? I'm going to shut it off because I don't like to waste water. Let's figure out how many drops there are in one cc. And see the one cc mark down there in the bottom? Yeah. Okay, now if you want to be a real scientist, you hold it up and you look right across so that you're seeing that line and you count the number of drops. Okay. That go until you make one cc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Right to the bottom 27. of this. 27. 27. Okay, remember that. 27 drops equal 1 cc. Now, if that drip continued for one whole month, it would be a certain volume of water. What's this one? 100 cc. One liter. Four liters. 10 liters. And 20 liters. Do you think it would be any of these volumes? Well, there's five of them out mm -hmm. here, and it wouldn't be the smallest, and it wouldn't be the biggest. It's too big. Well, so you're, you're just started taking a wild guess, really, right? Yeah. So, and, so which one are you going to guess? I'd say 10 liters. 10 liters? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay, let's actually calculate it and see how close you came. Uh, here's the pen. So here you can fill in how many drops for one cc? 27. Okay. Okay, now we said we just assumed that it was one drip a second. Mm -hmm. So how many drips would be one cc? How many seconds? 27. What, 27 seconds, right. Okay, now multiply it by... This was one cc, now multiply it by 100. How many seconds? 2,700. Right. Okay, now we wanted to find it. That's seconds, now find minutes. What do you do? 2,700 here. Okay. Divided by 60. I have my calculator all set for you. There it is, turned on. 2,700 divided by 60. Equals? What do you got? 45. Okay. Up here, 45 minutes. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to add, we're going to multiply by 10. So what do you do here? 45 times 10? Right. Just add a zero, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take that figure. That's, by the way, one liter. Okay. Now we're going to find it, we're going to change it into hours. So what do you put here? 450. 50 divided by 60. Clear. 450 divided by 60 equals 7.5. Okay, right here, 7.5 hours. Notice that's one liter. Whoa. Okay. Now, we're going to multiply that by... 100. 100. So what do you put here? 750. Okay. And 750 is 100. Now we want to find out how long it's going to be. We were in what? We were in hours. Okay. And we want to find it by days. What do we have to do? 750 divided by 24. Right. 700. Well, write it in there first, right? Okay. 750. 750 divided by 24. Equals. What do you got? 31.25. 31.25 days is about a month, right? Yeah. How many cc's? Uh, 100, 100 liters. liters. 100 liters. Yes. You said what? You thought 10? Do you realize how many uh, liter bottles that is? 100? In fact, in one month, at one per second, here's how much water you'd waste. Come on, I'll show you. Wow. Yeah. Now, how many did you guess? Just 10 liters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many uh, liters in a month? A hundred liters. Yeah, count. dripping in, in one a second. And notice I have every tenth bottle moved out. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right. And if that happened to be hot water that was dripping. You'd waste a lot of energy. All right, so conclusion? Get rid of all drips. Right.